Hello and welcome to The Midlife. We're so happy to have you with us here. Tracy, I had one of those mornings where I have a hundred different things I want to talk to you about and I feel like I've already had a hundred of those conversations. Same here. Same here, for sure. I love it. I can't wait to hear what they all are. <laughs> well, what were yours? Maybe we had no, them. Maybe no. we had them psychically. No, nope, we're going to stay with you today. What were yours? <laughs> The first is, I, I'm just oh. going to side note, you're really good at doing that. And I noticed that. So I'm going to hold you to it. Cause I really, I, I, what I spend my nights thinking about are like the five other questions that I want to ask you that you so well push on me. <laughs> <laughs> so no, what did you think this morning? <laughs> okay. All right. I will, I will uh, walk away from my master of, de of deflection role. Uh -huh. And really I really good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, my ass is absolutely dragging this morning. Mm, yeah. I, I hate that. I hate that when there's not a good reason. Like sometimes you got to own it. Like you stayed up too late or ate something that didn't agree with you or had a little too much to drink or, you know, something got up early, but I just cannot snap out of it this morning and it sucks. My goodness. I hate you, that feeling. You don't think it's maybe that you're doing 800 new things and you're using a lot of brain energy? I, I can't admit I, any. I felt like I got text. <laughs> I, I got information all day yesterday while I was laying on the couch napping <laughs> about the 10,000 things you were handling. And I was like, yeah, I just can't get to it today. I will so slam it out of the park tomorrow, but I'm going to give myself the day. And oh. uh, you were killing it. And so like, I was, I think I was already re-asleep when you were like, I'm going to make dinner now. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I think I've been asleep for 24 hours already. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to offer that as. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't admit any maybe weakness. you're not being that nice. I will, I can't admit any weakness. Yeah, I know you can't. Um, but and yeah. I don't think it's weakness. I think it's like what it takes to do something new expends so much different energy. Well, you know? which, which kind and of leads also, me. You started back to exercise. Well, that leads right? me to, that leads me to conversation too, that I've already had with you in my head this morning. Uh, okay, great. <laughs> which is, so I feel like I just feel like I am in a fog of mashed potato this morning. And I do have a million things that I truly want to accomplish today. And it's just really hard today. And mm, one of the thanks. things that I really want to be doing every morning is exercising. And I realized that I absolutely do not have the extra strength to expend doing my usual high intensity workout. So I was so proud of myself because I decided to just do a 15 minute stretch and I allowed myself to count that as my morning exercise. Good for you. Which That's felt, amazing. Which felt like that was very like, I really, I felt like I was taking a page out of Tracy's book. I mean, this was the conversation we were having this morning for sure. <laughs> Cause I, I, you know, my ass was dragging all day yesterday and my introvert was, um, really having a temper tantrum, like, you know, and I was really reflecting this morning on kind of that time of year it is. And it's like, there's high energy going on. There's lots of like hanging out going on. There's a lot of, it's, it's not all bad, right? It's like electric. It's, it's good stuff, right? A lot of energy and, um, and the balance, like, how do you find the balance because to me, like exercise, stretching, just having the moment to tune in, right? It's like, it's all kind of, I kind of think of like me as a sponge. <laughs> and like, so all the outer things, I like fill, 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 fill. And all of a sudden, it's like, I need to squeeze out the sponge. Otherwise, I am a foggy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe like, we should come up with another time. <laughs> or maybe they yes, need to come. Maybe they need to come at a different time. And yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm, I feel like growling as well, Penny. I'm so irritated yeah. because Tracy was making an excellent point. Uh, Which, you know, in midlife, I may have totally forgotten what that I was. No, you're squeezing out the sponge. <laughs> I, I got you. Oh, yeah. Squeezing out the sponge. <laughs> and I really felt. Even though yesterday I like 
forgave myself and gave myself some time off. I, I still felt like a full up sponge this morning and I, I knew I needed to move my body and I did. And, you know, that helps a little bit, but more than anything, what happens for me, and I don't know about you or you guys, but I, um, I get like full to the edge when I don't spend some time with myself with like, really, what is it? What's on your mind? What are you thinking? What, you know? And so I just get like bubbled over and then it starts to feel like anxiety and it feels like I can't get through it. And it feels like, you know, it's weighing on me and like, it does feel shaky. And I, I literally had to stop and like, write. I'm like, write it all down. You know, I can't even think about it at that point. I'm so past it that I, I need to like see it so I can see how silly I'm kind of being right. Like I'm creating all of these things for myself and it's like, I'm just loading them on. And then when I can see them, I'm like, okay, so really I just need to be more mindful, but like my introvert needs a little time <laughs> like to refuel. And I was just, you know, having that moment of like, what do I need to refuel? What is the thing that squeezes out my sponge? And, and I just thought, Oh, we kind of, I bet everyone gets that breaking point. And I think, especially at this time of year, like that it's very outer and that we need to balance that with checking in on ourselves and going inside and being inside and, uh, it, to support all the good and all the bad, right? Like, you know, it just brought me back to that, like knowing that it, when I looked at my list, I giggled and I was like, this is the, the moment where we were talking the other day that like all the things went wrong in the morning and I still showed up and everything seemed fine. And I was like, why do I do that? And I really thought like, oh, it's because I, I have a really strong practice of it's 50 suck and 50 awesome, you know, right. and like I can giggle in the suck because I'm like, this is just the 50 suck. Like, I'm not going to stay here because I'm going to start, I'm going to look for the 50 great also. Right. It's just never ending. And so this morning I was obviously looking at the 50 suck and spending a lot of time there. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that doesn't feel good when you, you know, I'm like, I needed to squeeze out the 50 sucks so I could make room for being able to look for like, okay, but what are the 50 awesome? Like what right. are the A's? Well, I could, I totally and knew that's you were here. <laughs> right. And that's why we're here. I knew that about you yesterday. And I, I, I like, I needed things from you for our project that we're working on. And I knew that I was disturbing you. And I started to like type you a text, like, this is the great thing about having a partner is that everything's always moving forward because somebody has their foot on the gas pedal and it doesn't have to be both people on the gas pedal at the same time. And then I thought, I'm not going to disturb you because you're resting and I got what I needed and we'll talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> so Yeah. And, and I think we've had that conversation. Yeah. So I knew it's like, I was like, and you're going to pick up the baton tomorrow and you're going to kill it. Like, it's going to be fine. And I knew if I didn't spend the time, but I want you to know that anything you needed from me was not at all. Like I'm still charged and excited. So yeah. I was like, get your ass up, go do the one thing. It's no big deal. Right. Like right. And I, I was just like, hold on. I didn't want, you know, and I also had a sick kid home. So it was like, you know, yes. give me a second. She better something. And, and that, is she yeah, better back at school? Better, I think. Okay. Yes. Back at school. Yeah. I mean, we screw her. If she's feeling better. She's yeah. back at school. That's, that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> that's really the most important. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so what happens to you when you're feeling like this? What do you do for yourself when you're dragging, well, when, you're, I'm, when you I show up for I'm, a day like today? I think I'm still learning on all of that. And so I thought this morning, like, felt, I was actually really proud of myself that it, usually I'm very black and white. Like, I'm either exercising at 110% or I can't do anything today. And... I found that gray area, which I really work hard to find. So somewhere in between the 50 great and 50 suck is the, I don't know, that, that margin of okay. And I just spent that 15 minutes doing a little stretch class, deciding that I could count it as exercise. It, it, it mattered. And mm -hmm. then this word popped into my head and we've talked about this before. Like, you know, do you have like a word of the year? Or I know, you know, you do a great exercise, like you think of like a few words for like the quarter that you're going to work on. And I don't, I don't want to put this word in any kind of time container for myself, 
because it's a very new word for me, but I was like, my word right now is flexibility because mm. it's everywhere. It is showing up everywhere for me. It was showing up this morning and that I, I mean, I used to be a gymnast and a dancer and I can't like reach my toes when I'm sitting down right now because everything's like so balled up and so tight. And I've been doing like so much cycling and running like I, and, and I think that's a metaphor for how I've been living all parts of my life is like going as fast as I can. And so now everything's just like balled up and tight. And so the word flexibility popped into my head while I was stretching, like that's not a stretch. And I just felt like it was the pervasive word that I need everywhere in my life. Like it's about the calendar and that we've been talking about and slotting other things in and like going with the flow more like when the kid is homesick or, you know, when, you know, something I have an idea of what I want to do for us in a day, but something else comes up that has to take priority and to like, let it go and slot the other thing in. So it just felt like that word. I don't know how long that's going to be my word. I'm not saying it's my word of 2023 or it's my word of the quarter, but it is my word right now. Mm. Just flexibility everywhere, physically, emotionally, professionally. That's my word, flexibility. I I love it. It's so good. And I, of course, had that word at the end of, so I, I did a rollout on the uh, on a roller. And I was thinking the same thing, like, oh, I'm just so tight on my left side. And it's, you know, that to me is like the shrinking and the left side is your heart side and your female side and, you know, your feminine side and, and where you receive. And I was like, oh, that needs to be open right now. Mm. I need to be able to like receive all this goodness that's going on and, and, you know, really stay open. And I, I was thinking the same thing, like the flexibility in your body is the same as the flexibility in your life. Yeah, right. And, and how they are so tightly, forgive the. I know it's that. awful, right? The puns are <laughs> terrible, but hey. <laughs> it happened <laughs> but they are tightly connected right they it's like the more open you are the more flexible you are with yourself with your body the more you can show up and and have that kind of the bounce right that ease yeah and, and as you we were talking about it i was you know kind of equaling it to a softness and a kindness like how i'm sorry how i think you mean weakness <laughs> right that's what you see right <laughs> This word feels so good to you. And I was like, when I say this, this is going to trigger you because me equating because the way you've talked to yourself and the fact that you could go, no, you know what? This feels really good to me. And that's a plus that goes on. I get a check mark for that. Right. Right. And even yesterday for me to be able to say, you know what? You're just not up to it. And that doesn't make you a loser and it doesn't make you a bad partner and it doesn't make you a flake. It makes you listening and you will show up a hundred percent because you did this and, and there is that forgiveness, that kindness, that ability to re-show up in a different way. Yeah. And I think, I think that's something that we all need to give ourselves. Absolutely. But also this tendency to punish yourself, right? Like to say, oh, I'm being a flake. I'm not being a good partner and I'm going to punish myself by which you didn't. I'm so glad that you didn't, but punish yourself to do anyway even though you're going to get a quarter of what you really want to do done because you feel like you just can't move. So yeah. it's weird how we beat ourselves up, but I just want to offer that out there. Anybody just sort of think about those words and you don't have to put it in a time container either. I know for some people that feels good, like a word or words for the year or things that you really want to be considering. But I don't know that, but like, was felt very um, satisfying to me to be able to hang an anchor on that word and realize that that really has to be my focus right now for my own well being. I don't know. It felt good mm -hmm. to be nice to me. <laughs> oh, Lorraine, you guys don't realize this is a huge moment. <laughs> no, I think they do. So I'm, <laughs> I'm celebrating you and and your flexibility, and I, I love the idea of just like maybe it's a month word and then you just recheck in, you know, yeah. it's like, is that still my word? Is that still what I, but I, I love the idea of, it's just like, you know, people call it a mantra or whatever, like having that word like written on your wall, you know, like on a piece of paper or put it, you know, on the fridge or put it wherever you need to so that you keep seeing it because you're like reprogramming your thoughts to like 
looking for flexibility in your life, looking to show up that way for yourself, looking to find it in your body, you know, but you're really looking for that and, and therefore gathering evidence and, and that'll motivate you in a weird way without you even knowing. Yeah. To like keep looking for that, to keep bringing that into your life. And it's like, it's like a practice, right? You're having a flexibility practice right now. Yes. And, and that will start to anchor it in you. Right. So then, and then of course, like, you know, within uh, an hour of this amazing epiphany, somebody irritated the fuck out of me. And I'm, as a, you're, as you're talking, I'm like, and I need to be more flexible towards other people too. <laughs> so I'm going to add that to the list. Yeah. <laughs> but I know, right? Yeah. It comes with doing it to yourself first, though. The more flexible you are, that bounce, you know, that I'm talking about, it's like, yeah. I feel like we get to to that limit that we we're talking about. And then it's like, you know, someone just taps you on the shoulder and you're like, what? You yeah. know, it's oh, like, that was totally my reaction. Always. But it's because this right. person is incredibly inflexible and like fucks with my world because of their OCD. Mm. And then... But if you so are irritating. super flexible and have have that bounce in you, yeah, right, then you'll have boundaries because because it won't be a trigger because you'll have more bandwidth, right? right? And so when they do it, you'll be like, yeah, that doesn't work for me now. Yeah, like this is the way it is. You know what I mean? Like it won't trigger you because we're so like at the edge, right? How I felt this morning too is like, oh my god, if I don't squeeze out the sponge, I'm going to cry for like three days, right? <laughs> Can you, you see know, how my I, body language changed though? Like I, I, but I have things to say about this. I'm like, really? No, because you need to be mad. Well, it's because I do advocate and I do try to practice this, you know, ideal of just like worrying about you. You know, we always say like my 10 acres, I'm just going to take care of that part. And what you say, what you do doesn't really matter. That's on you. But also, mm -hmm. there are some people that need retraining. <laughs> like you? <laughs> no. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> this is not a self-reflection. <laughs> I know. You really want to put this on someone else, so that's why I'm having fun with it. Like, what, why are you making it about the other person? Because it is. <laughs> Okay, listen. It's not yours. Listen. Okay. There, there's there's another one of my theories of living, which is need to know basis. Okay, like you'll you'll know when you need to know. And this is mm. I'm just gonna be perfectly honest about what's going on. Tyler has a Christmas performance this weekend. I have purchased the tickets for all of the grandparents. I have told them all when it is. We will all be at the same place at the same time, where I will have the tickets. I have a certain family member that is driving me insane about the tickets for Saturday. Mm. I'm like, I will be there. Don't worry about it. I, I just like, chill the fuck out. I've got other things to prioritize besides your anal compulsiveness over times and tickets and meeting places four days oh, from now. I love it. Yeah. I totally get how that's irritating. But there's something that you're, there's another story underneath it that this person always says this and they're annoying and they're the, right? Like you, you already have set up stories for this is like, ah, ah there it is, <laughs> you know, because sure. there it is, right? <laughs> because there it is. Right. But, so that's what I'm saying. Right. Like there's, okay. Here, this is the bottom line. And I, I think that people out there can relate to this is that I feel like we're all in the season of self-improvement and self-awareness and like, you know, like you always say, oh, giggling at yourself and recognizing who you are and taking the steps to be the better version of yourself. Not everyone is along for that ride. No, they aren't. You and are so, correct. So that's, that's what my <laughs> that, like. That's the new t-shirt. <laughs> Not wait. everyone's along for that ride. <laughs> It will be up on the website by the day's end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I yes. mean, so, and your point? And my point is, is it's fucking aggravating that it's like, I, this it's is what, this is, okay, this is what's aggravating. 
Is that some, yeah. okay. There are, there are so many constraints I feel in our lives on our time and things that we have to attend to things and, and choosing to and wanting to. And then there are outside forces that believe that they deserve the same time and attention. And that's like, like, it's like a child, like kicking and screaming and throwing a tantrum over something that is in the future. It's not something to worry about right. now. It's something, not something to solve now. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> but there's your boundary. Well, I already ignored it for three days. That's right. This didn't just happen today. This has been going on for three days. I've been ignoring. Of course, because you ignored it. So if you just said it's handled, leave me the fuck alone <laughs> in whatever way you needed to, right? Then you would have a boundary. Like, yeah, you, but that was already say, said. Like, busy. Everything's that was already said when I purchased the tickets, when I set an alarm, because you have to purchase the tickets to make sure that you are front and center so that your child can see you wave, right? Like it's handled. Right. Of it's course. handled. You yeah. know where to be. You know yes. what time. It's handled. Especially if you know you. It's so handled. Like, I don't know why anyone would question. Aha. Oh, Tracy. Wow. That's a whole other episode. Yes. That is a true story. <laughs> But that is not the story that that of person, person reads. Right. Yes. So that's what pisses you off. Yes. That's what pisses you off. So that's the part, right? So it has nothing to do with the tickets. It has nothing to do. It's that this person, which again, it's out of their mouth. So it's about them. Even though they're talking about you and they're using your name and you've decided they don't believe that I am this together human being that I am, right? And they don't see me for... I, I, every time I make it happen and every time it's going to be okay. And every time, right. So, so this is completely their anxiety, their bullshit, their, right. Totally. Although that's just their distrust of the universe themselves. Totally. They would act, right. It's just, it's completely about them. And so there's the giggle to me is like, oh my God, this has nothing to do with me. Right. This is just how bananas they are inside of them. Right. Yeah. This is how much they don't think they can brush their hair and get to that thing on time and there'll be ticket. Right. And it's like, oh my God, poor thing. All you, have, all you have to do is look pretty and come to the thing, you know, yeah. you know, but really they're turning it into this whole thing. Well, and I'm so, and so like, for you're, you to know. yeah, you're a hundred percent right. And I'm laughing so hard because I'm wondering if I will get this cuticle to bleed that I am picking at now because this conversation is so <laughs> wound tight for me. That's number one. And Right. And number you two, the sponge. <laughs> and number two is, is, is the frustration over, yeah, I always do show up. I always do have it together. I always do, but not by the skin of my teeth. It's just on a different timetable than these people live on. So therefore it's always felt like it's a failure because, and I'm not, you know, just, I mean, even like Again, I was laughing like at myself, banana story. totally bananas. I thought like, I, you know, I put up that reel and I was kind of laughing about Thanksgiving that it was like after nine o'clock and it, my dining room was still my office. And I was not panicked at all. I was like, listen, I know how to entertain. Like I could do this in my sleep and it's going to be all fine. I was just kind of like laughing about it. But if, I mean, it just would, it, if anybody would have walked in and seen that, that was a guest that evening, they might've had a heart attack. Maybe, but again, no, I'm just saying like, that's, that, that's the environment right? that I have been living in. And so that is why the silly little thing over the tickets. Right. But the difference is when I saw that post, I knew you had it handled. It could, I knew, yeah. That could have been a 1230 post and I would have been like, whatever, she can blow this out of the park in 20 minutes. I'm not worried about it. Right. But that's based on, right me knowing you and the way I know you and me feeling the way I feel about myself and the way I feel like I understand that. Right? right. I, I know that within myself. Right. And, and I can see that in you and not everyone is available for that. Right. And so the people that would show up and panic, that's about them. Right. They need three days to set up that, that room. Totally. Right. And have it all clean and did that. Right. And it probably would have sat for a week. Yes. Set up totally before Thanksgiving. Right. Yeah. Right. But that's their anxiety. That's their BS. Right. And so for you, right. It's like, we hold on to that stuff though. And that stuff 
stuck way deep in oh, our totally. bodies. Totally. Right? Of like, oh God, I should be freaking out. It's nine o'clock, right? This should have been done 12 weeks ago. I should have been packed for that next year's trip to be in the oh, other the room. Packing. Set up. Oh, the packing. <laughs> Are you packed it's yet? All the same. No, we're not leaving for three days. I'm not packed yet. <laughs> yeah, but it's someone else's stuff, right? It's totally yeah. someone else's stuff. But I guess stuff, like so. the, the broader lesson for everybody like listening in our community is, is that no matter what it is, it doesn't have to be on anybody else's timetable. And that goes for the reverse. If, if you're the person setting your table a week before, fine. But that just doesn't mean that the people that aren't Great. are a failure. And so... And so I think that timetable expands to everything in our lives, right? Like I'm 50 and I haven't done this yet, or I'm 60 and I really always wanted to have that business. Like there is no timetable except for the one that you set for and it is comfortable for you. Yes. And I think the other important piece is to, like we were saying at the beginning of this, like sit with yourself and see what it feels like within you, right? If it feels great to do it a week before, or are you doing it a week before because you think someone else thinks you need to? Right. Does it create, is it an old story? Is it, does it create angst in your life because you're doing it because someone else is pissing you off because you're already telling the story that the, you're not going to be able to do this on Saturday. And you're like, I already have the tickets. We're going to be there. Show up or don't. Yeah. You know, like, you know what I mean? It's like, we turn things into just like this morning for me, I had like a mountain of things that like, I probably could have dug a hole and crawled in it and stayed there for three weeks. But I was like, okay, how about I just write down all the things in the hole? Yeah. And I just want to see them and see if any of those things actually matter. And how many of them can I laugh at? And, you know, it's the same thing. It's like giving ourselves a second to be flexible, to be kind, flexible. right? To be... I did not say that kind was I... my word. I said flexible was my word. I know, but to me, <laughs> I know. So I, I'm, I'm not, Don't I'm not putting words in my mouth. mouth. I'm saying it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, that's totally my word. <laughs> but yeah, that shows some kindness. Like give yourself some space to feel however you feel. Right. It's like you said, right? It's like this. I always think that's so important. It's like, you know, even if someone tells you to exercise a certain way, like you still need to feel what it feels like inside your body, make your own choices, see what it feels Absolutely. like. Absolutely. And that's a huge practice to get inside and, and allow for that. So I like this yeah. idea of the flexibility and, you know, giving yourself some space. Absolutely. Figure it out. Absolutely. Feel how you feel. So it felt good until I blew it all up with that silly little experience. Um, I do think I know, though, but we all do that, right? We all do that all the time. And so, I do, we, we all do it. And I think that's why it's so awesome to bring up. It's like, we can make ourselves bananas over like something so silly. And it's like, it's not even our bananas. Right. Yeah. Just not, my the bananas not my circus, back. not my monkey. I love that scene. Yeah. Um, yeah. but it is, I think it is so interesting. I don't think that I'm alone in this, that how your parental relationships can make you think, feel, and behave like you are a 13 year old child again. Yeah. That's a big one. And this is a good season, right? The holiday season tends to push us all together. So it's a good one to practice. Like, how about what would my adult self say? <laughs> Maybe that's what my 14 year old would say, but what would my adult self say? Yeah. To anyone else that talked to me that way, right? Let's just make them people and not parents <laughs> or not aunts and uncles or whatever they are, you know, whatever they are to us that triggers us. Like, let's just let them be people and then know, recognize that whatever comes out of their mouth is about them. Right. Even if it has our name on it, you know, and, and that's where like the compassion comes into me or the, you know, the giggling, the humanness of it. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah. They just have crap too, <laughs> you know, but I don't have to, I don't have to take ownership of their crap. Right. And I don't have to be and frustrated just... that they're never going to work out their crap. So get over it. No, you have to work out your own crap. <laughs> and there's plenty of that. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm also laughing at us because I always, we try to keep our podcast kind of like short and delightful in honor, and you, in, in, uh, in respect of your time. And we've been going like really long and I just, I don't even feel like ending the conversation ever. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like there's just so much. So I'm kind of curious from our audience. Feel free to DM us. Like y'all need to cut it close, you know, shorter or it's okay. You come back and listen if they're a little longer. I don't know. I'm just kind of curious because I feel like I anxiously watch the clock, but I don't want to ever stop talking. But anyway, we beat this dead horse today. Um, yes. On the positive, maybe finding a word that sort of resonates throughout 
throughout everything that you're trying to work on. For me, it was flexibility. I don't know. Throw that out if I could share that with anybody else. And also <sighs> the other. Yeah. I don't even know what to call yeah. the other. <laughs> Uh, I think a little like uh, squeezing out the sponge and yes. checking in on yourself and, you know, giving yourself that practice to go back inside so you can keep showing up for all of the other stuff and uh, not stepping on anyone else's 10 acres. Yeah. What's the other t-shirt we're making now? Uh, it's not, not everyone's, everyone's along, along for a ride. For a ride. <laughs> it's like, it's happening in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> Check the website. <laughs> All right. All right. Have an awesome day. Thanks for listening. And if you're having fun with us, share us with your friends. We want to make a nice big community of a whole bunch of supportive, awesome people like yourself.